Hi, generating art has become only a cognitive task rather than a cognitive and a psychomotor one, as it used to. AI art generators have made generating art so easy that anyone can generate this, this, or even this in few minutes. AI art generators will turn your imagination into an art piece, but you have to convert your imagination into a text prompt. So the only thing you have to do is to generate a textual prompt, and that's it. Everything rest will be done by the AI art generator. This video will further ease out this whole process. Let me show you how you can squeeze out great textual prompts from ChatGPT. ChatGPT is a chatbot that understands your thinking in an incredible way. But of course, you have to make it to do that through a proper methodology. ChatGPT know about textual prompts, which AI art generators like Stable Diffusion, Midjourney, or DAO-E, etc. use. But you have to relay your imagination to ChatGPT before it can help you out. I'll be using Stable Diffusion version 1.5 installed on my PC. If you don't know how to install it on PC, then refer to my previous video, whose link is right above, or you can find it in the description as well. For generating images of humans, there are three important components of a prompt. Number one, the image style. This means what type of image you want. Examples can be photorealistic, close-up illustration, full body illustrations, or portraits, etc. Or anything similar like that. Number two, fix the subject. If you won't specify the subject, ChatGPT will generate prompts for random people. Therefore, if you want an illustration of, for example, Emma Watson, then you should specify it to make ChatGPT generate prompts for Emma Watson only. Otherwise, it will wander off. Number three, which is the last one, is to prime GPT with examples. You should discuss or present some examples of prompts to ChatGPT so that it learns what type of overall prompt you are looking for. Given these three things, ChatGPT can generate several prompts that will surely surprise you. Let's prompt ChatGPT with these three things and then ask it to generate more prompts and then we will input those prompts to Stable Diffusion and check the results. So I have prompted ChatGPT with this prompt stating that examples of high quality prompts for stunning close up photorealistic illustrations of Emma Watson for text to image models like Stable Diffusion, Midjourney or DAO E2 are these. And these are the two examples. These examples include the image style, the subject and few other keywords to dictate the quality of the image and the artist as well. Did you see what I did in this prompt? I specified the style of the image, which was number one. Then I fixed the subject so that ChatGPT doesn't even think of someone else. That was number two. And then I gave some examples. That was number three. Now ChatGPT has rephrased my provided examples, but we don't need them. So now I have asked for some more examples. And these are the prompts which ChatGPT has generated. Now let's try these out in Stable Diffusion. So here I have entered the first prompt and for the negative prompt, I'm using the universal negative prompt. The sampler is DPN++ 2M Keras with 25 steps. Image size is specified as 512 by 700 and I want three images for this prompt. That's why my batch count is three. Moreover, the CFG scale is set to seven and for these settings, here are the three images which Stable Diffusion has generated. You may enlarge the images to see more clearly. Not bad at all. Now let's use the second prompt and see how different the results will be. So I'm going to copy and paste the second prompt and click generate using the same settings. This time, these are the three images. Simply superb. Look how Stable Diffusion has used the style of the artist that was specified in the prompt. Now let's try the third prompt as well. So let me copy and paste it over here and click generate. Now let's see what Stable Diffusion will generate for us. So here are the three images which Stable Diffusion has generated now. You can look at these, that these are simply marvelous. The last one doesn't look so good, but you can always regenerate by clicking the generate button once again. Now let's try full body illustration and keep everything same. So here are the five prompts which ChatGPT has generated now. And let me copy, let's pose the second one and paste it over here in the stable diffusion. And by keeping everything same, I'm just going to click generate. And let's see what stable diffusion has to offer us this time. 
So here are the images which Stable Diffusion has generated now. These are simply marvelous. Look at the details and the things what the prompt said and Stable Diffusion has followed that. Let me just try one more example and let's just copy another prompt. For example, this fourth one. I'm going to copy it and paste it in Stable Diffusion. And once again, keeping everything constant, I'm going to click Generate. Now let's see what ChatGPT has to offer us. After some time, here are the images. These are simply marvelous. Look at the details, look at the style, that how Stable Diffusion followed our prompts, and it has created some masterpieces. So dear learners, I hope now you can generate as many prompts as you want by using ChatGPT. If you like any one of the prompt, you can always ask ChatGPT to generate some more prompts like it. For example, if you like the third one or the fourth one, you can always ask the ChatGPT to generate more example like the fourth prompt. So I hope now you can use ChatGPT to generate prompts and produce some great illustrations. Thank you and take care.